Okay, we're back in business. Let's uh, continue. We know where to find us on social media. Uh, if you've got any comments, questions, or opinion of your own, we'd like to hear from you as always on Twitter. And of course, City of Harriet is the Twitter handle for Harriet Agbeyi, who is the show anchor. She's taking some refreshing holidays. She'll be back in a couple of days. So you can put that. You can also add me at b -bossing. And of course, we've got a conversation that we want to get going at Channels TV or at Biz Morning. And you know what our poll of the week looked like. We started this on Tuesday. What should define Nigeria's need to long-term agenda for America's next president? That's the president-elect now, Donald Trump. So, should it be the social economy? Should it be security or good governance? Whatever you think, <clears throat> we'd like to hear from you. Put it in our email address, you know, at, uh, at, at Twitter, uh, I beg your pardon, at this morning, I would like to hear from you from there, and whichever one, <clears throat> we'll also get you, but we'd like to, to put that in, in this morning, so we can put that together on Monday, and show you what the result <clears throat> will look like. So we'll get back to the currencies market, let's, where well, we finished up before the break, a bit of a wacky news that the Department of State Securities arrested some bureau the change operators, asking them to fix Naira dollar relationship, that was a very interesting <clears throat> story that we couldn't believe, that this is what some newspaper reported that, <clears throat> and online overnight, but this is what the Naira dollar uh, looks like uh, when we finished off uh, yesterday, 307.76 Naira at the interbank FX market. Against the British pound, that will be 389.62. Against the euro, 347.04. <coughs> Battling a bit of a cold here. At the street level, the Naira dollar was 470. Against the pound, that was 570. And against the euro, 510. That was flat, remained unchanged. Look at the stock market. Uh, that's about three quarter of a percent. Down south yesterday, investors uh, a little bit taking a beating on the banking stocks. That was the most uh, of the largest, more than 3%, 3.02% to be precise. And you can see <clears throat> we're now at the market cap flat around 9 trillion naira. Okay, let's move on to what are some of the issues as far as the commodities market uh, is concerned with the election of Donald Trump as the next president of the United States. He'll be taking office in January 2017. Okoye Mio and the rest of our team put some numbers together across the market space commodities. That is Okoye Mio uh, Senior Investment Officer at Financial Derivatives. He's live in, to us in Lagos. Okoye Mio, good morning. Good morning, Bosa. Okay, now give us a sense of the discussion at the commodities market since uh, this victory by Donald Trump yesterday. Well, in the commodities market yesterday, um, it was a bit volatile upon the news that um, Donald Trump emerged as the U.S. president-elect. And um, the reason why we saw this was because most traders and analysts um, weren't expecting the results to go in this direction. And with Donald Trump emerging as the president, it's kind of leads into the uncertainty that they, they attributed to Trump winning the elections. And so what we saw is that um, we saw the price of oil going down initially, and we also saw the price of gold increasing um, because most investors tried to switch from, um, from assets that they considered to be risky to safe haven assets such as gold. But um, towards the end of the day, the Energy Information Agency released a report which showed that U.S. crude inventories increased less than what analysts expected, increased by about 1.4 million barrels. Um, this is relative to what the American Petroleum Institute predicted, which was about 4.4 million barrels built up in U.S. crude inventories. And, uh, but going forward, looking at the price of oil, I think at this point, what would most likely play um, an influential role in the direction of the price of oil would be the OPEC meeting, which is supposed to take place on the 30th of November. So um, right now, what we're seeing in the energy market, the price of oil is still trading between uh, 45 to 46 dollars for a barrel. But going forward, we expect that um, sentiments regarding the OPEC meeting would play a significant role in the direction.
Yes, Okoyemi, uh, thank you very much. But again, uh, here at home, we have a number of issues uh, to deal with as far as Nigeria is concerned. Bring us up to speed on that. Uh, we still have the JV issues to deal with. We have the petrol prices to deal with. And of course, the militants seem not to uh, be uh, taking some of the uh, deliberations with the, prayer, with the government uh, seriously. So they've uh, blown, blown up the, uh, the focados again and, and we're back to, uh, but to status quo, as it were. Yes, um, they've blown up the focados and even the, 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 the technical, technical officials that were trying to repair the pipeline were also attacked by militants. And we've also seen the Excravos, um flow station has also been shut down because of protests around the area. So what we're seeing in, you know, in the domestic segments for the oil market is that the Niger Delta militants are still very persistent in their attacks despite, you know, despite um, discussions with the government and um, dialogue going on between the government and their representatives. Going forward, we're not sure when you know, these militant attacks will come to an end. What appears to be happening in that segment is that a lot of factions in that segment. So the representatives that are currently speaking to the government aren't necessarily representing the interests of some other smaller factions such as the, you know, the Avengers and the, um, the, 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 um, the injustice or the justice, justice uh, Avengers as well. So what we're seeing in that segment is that until when activities uh, from the major Delta militants are curbed, all production isn't expected to recover anytime soon. And also looking at um, the, the market for the refined petroleum products, we've seen that in the last few months, the NNPC has not been importing kerosene. So in the near term, in about a few weeks, we should see that kerosene prices will probably increase again, um, probably to higher than what we saw a couple of months back when we saw the price of a liter of kerosene going for as high as 600 naira in the market. Well, um, in terms of the commodities market, and we we'll go back to Donald Trump's presidency.